Welcome to Mans Lane. This is Dave Nightingale and Faraby know that three points is essential today to keep that gap over Winterton at the top of the Northern Counties East League. The team show a number of changes. No Daniel, no Tom Corner. So a rise to the bench once again for Isaac Hutchinson and Adam Boulder and a return to the team for Danny Clark. A sizable support from Faraby, including one man and his dog. The dog's called Percy, by the way. Bit nip and tuck at the moment. As Dennett and Birchall go chasing. They get the ball back. Birchall breaks away. Oh, that's a bit of an industrial challenge. By number 10, George Theoulis. You can tell the crowd is unhappy about that one. Look at the ferry we play surrounding referee Mr. Bragg. Being a bit of a marked man as Amir Birchall. And let's see this once again. You see him break away with the ball. And you can see that Thewlist doesn't really make an attempt to play the ball. Really plays a man. Absolutely polaxes poor Amir Birchall. And will it be a yellow card? Yes, yellow card from Mr. Bragg. First man into the book. Good clearance out of defence by Faraby. Breaks to Birchill. Now, can he make the difference as he heads towards goal? Oh, my oh, dear me. Yeah. Well, Sam Cook has stopped him getting to goal. I think that's a worse tackle than the first one on Hamia Birchill. Again, Birchill finds the floor. But you can't say that that is a fair challenge by Sam Cook. And that has to be another yellow card. They'll be picking up cards like nobody's business. Mr. Brad brings them across. Yellow card is out. Sam Cook's name goes into the book. Another yellow card for Nesborough. So here comes Farabee again. Good ball forward into the slot. Birchill takes on one. Gets dragged back by Kane. And then Sam Cook kicks the ball away. Now, hang on a minute. He's just been yellow carded. That could be another yellow card for deliberate time wasting. Now, surely Cook has to go. He has to go for that, surely. Well, referee Bragg has sin binned Sam Cook for 10 minutes. In the meantime, Ferry be making a change. And for PC Buttle, his walk is over for the day. And on comes Danny Clark. Now, can he make the breakthrough? 64 minutes gone here at Manslane. Still nil-nil. You can see Buttle just leaving the pitch. And here comes Clark. It's going to take over the position into the box. Emerton's got the ball to take the free kick. Be a good time for Ferriby to make their breakthrough just after the hour. So, Emerton floats the free kick into the box. Tries to be flicked on. It's going to break in the box. Comes into Tilsey. Little ball off to Clark! What an impact! What an impact! He's been on the pitch no more than 30 seconds. And Danny Clark... Has put Ferriby into an absolutely invaluable lead. It's a lovely little ball from Niall Tilsley. And smashed home with ease by the old retainer himself. Danny Clark, Ferriby into the lead. Nesbury nil, North Ferriby won. Dennett with a long throw down the line. Cleared away by Anderson. Next Farabee man. So here comes Emerton, making a nuisance of himself. Ben Parks gets in there. He's knocked it out for a throw in. Just about opposite the edge of the 18 yard box. You know what's going to happen here. It's going to be Dennett once again with one of those long throw ins. Farabee, good value for the one goal lead at the moment. You can see Farabee bringing all the big lads in. Fishley in there, Ollie Donald in there, now Tilsley in there. Danny East also in there, so it comes in. 
Anderson clears away. Another throw in this time. A little bit closer to the six-yard box. It's going to be Dennett once again. Ferriby going to be looking for that set piece. You probably fancy something like Holly Donald to get on the end of this. So here goes Dennett once again. Long throw in. And there goes Holly Donald. And there it's a second goal for North Ferriby. Straight off the training peg. Holly Donald. Three points. Sealed with a kiss. Good night. <laughs> Let's see this once again. It's a lovely, lovely goal straight off the training pitch. Chris Boulder and Paul Robson will be happy with this one. Little flick, really deft, lovely touch by Donald. 2-0 to the Villagers. It's a time added on here at Manslane. Farrowby 2-0 up against Nairsborough. So long kick by Exall. It's cleared by Anderson. And flick out right, little flick on by Emerton into Morrill. It's going to be played down the line into Clark. Little turn by Clark. Little Croy turn once again. Ball down the line to Emerton. Lovely little passing movement. Here comes Morrill. Has he taken a little bit too far? Anderson in there. No, Morrill turns around the corner. He's going to have a go, you know. Oh, what about that? What about that? If you are going to finish a game, finish it off in style. And Josh Morrill, it's his first goal for the club. And what a memorable goal that is going to be for him. What a lovely goal to finish off proceedings and keep Ferriby at the top of the Northern Counties East League Premier Division. Let's see it once again. Morrill just turns on the ball. The defenders have just followed him like lambs to the slaughter. And he just slams it into the bottom corner. Job done for Ferriby. 3 0. Well, have they got time to kick off? No, they haven't. There we go. All done and dusted. Another famous three points for Ferriby. Another step closer. For Chris Boulder and his boys. It's finished here at Mans Lane. Nairsbred Town nil. North Ferriby three. And in a few moments we'll be getting the views of Chris Boulder. Who's been speaking to our interviewer Jack Salt. Well Chris uh, a very professional performance. Uh, a 3-0 win away at Nairsbred. Yeah uh, definitely. You know, I think you, you, it was a difficult surface for us to to kind of get our fluid passing game going. So it was, a, it was a game today where we needed to be smart with our play, um, show that little bit of quality when we were putting balls in good areas in their final third. First half, you know, we got into good positions, but unfortunately didn't quite capitalise on them. Them moments and our final ball lacked that little bit of um, guile, if you like, and a little bit of patience, and we picked the wrong option. So we spoke at half time about what we needed to do. Uh, and second half we did that much much better and um, deservedly winners. Your changes again, that instant impact from Clarkey to get the first goal. It's a great finish from him. It's important that we utilise the squad, we utilise the bench that we've got to our um, advantage really. And you know it, it, it paid dividends today. You know it's uh, Clarkey's first touch and a wonderful left foot finish. Um, to, to, to kind of get us in front and then I think once we got in front we kind of settled down a little bit and, and played much better um, and you know to go and get the second and the third in stoppage time was uh, I think just rewards for the lads hard work and um, you know top consistent performance second half for the second it's a it's a great header by Ollie it is a wonderful header you know it's uh, he attacks it really well and gets great contact on it and you know they're unsavable aren't they them ones and then it was nice for uh, Moz to, to get his first goal for the club. Um, you know, a nice left foot finish in the, in the far corner. Uh, but overall, very, very pleasing. You know, it's just a, another game ticked off, an away game. Um, and, you know, second half we showed showed good good moments of brilliance. And another great following from the Green and White Army. Amazing. You know, I think if you look at the, the following that we had on Tuesday uh, and then once again today, it really does make a difference. And, you know... Mm -hmm. We just can't thank the fans enough for the support and 
you know the singing and the way they get behind the lads is, is brilliant and it's great to see all the flags and, and all the people and uh, backing the lads. Obviously.